<laughs> intrepid when when or where in your opinion chicho that all this corruption and global craziness uh was began oh man it goes back a long time ago go to 1913 with the federal reserve right uh i think it's safe to say or go to roman era right <laughs> safe to say that to many folks out there it's uh it it gets gets to be very tiring to hear everything on a day-to-day -day basis when many people don't even involve themselves in many of the things we hear about but are forced to listen and accept the changes like COVID, for example intrepid i agree with you but here's the thing right people don't need to pay attention to daily events like right now okay protesters went into the capital and they're freaking out and doing this is that really that important on a on a extended basis not really okay this was kicked into gear a long time ago but people need to be aware of what their governments are doing that's what people need to be aware of right when their governments go out or our governments go out and wage war somewhere when they say we're going out there to free people by bombing the shit out of them okay right there people have to go you know what those the lives of those people on the other side of the globe matter right why is it exactly do we need to go bomb them for their freedom right and then when people come out and say oh because let's say saddam hussein is a bad guy people have to have a perspective of history they have to go back and go wait a second we actually put saddam hussein in power right so hold on a second we put this guy in power the united states put saddam hussein in power in the 1960s right supported them for like 30 years and then decided to accept the fact because they supplied saddam hussein with chemical weapons that saddam hussein was using chemical and then we go bomb the crap out of him in the 90s have sanctions on him for 10 years and then go invade him in in 2003 like the whole the whole chain of events that this occurred on is insane right people have a have to have a perspective on the history of this right the first thing i would tell people look the first thing i would tell people man if your country wants to go to war with another country get rid of your government okay because they're lying to you they're lying to you hard okay and they're gonna make your lives more miserable okay people need to make a stand at some point you can't let these monsters run amok okay that that's what really needs to happen okay it what's what's happening right now is gonna roll out there's no way to change things turn things around this year or two years from now or five years from now it's gonna take about 10 years for what's put in motion to turn around if we do it the right way right if we sit back and allow them to run amok then <laughs> 30 years 